Yeah, well, my friends, how are you? How are you doing? So y'all obviously already know what the video is about. So if you watched the video that I posted two videos ago, so not my last video, but the video before that, I had kind of weighed in on this whole like Tati James Jeffrey situation. And there were a few of you guys in that video because if you watch that video, then you know that I posted that before James had posted his second video. I posted it before Jeffrey posted a video. Tati had already had her second video out, um, and I had some discrepancies with that, if you guys remember from that video. And a lot of you guys were asking in the comments, and I got Instagram DMs, as this thing has been like unfolding or whatever, what my thoughts were. Uh, since I had made that video like before those two videos had come out sooner I figured I would just do that I literally just sat here and did a get ready with me trying to uh, formulate those thoughts and as before uh, it, 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 it It's gonna be I mean I sat here and talked for like two hours and I'm like I'm not uploading another like 45 fucking minute video, right? So I like got everything that I wanted to say all situated. I wrote some stuff down because I'm like, dude, there's just like so much. Y'all know what gets the ADD and to like compile everything together and try to do makeup and whatever else at the same time. It just had me all flustered, girl. I was like, what the fuck, dude? Over this dumb shit. So I know you guys are probably so fucking tired of hearing about this because I'm like honestly really fucking tired of hearing about it. But because there were quite a few of you who wanted to know like my opinions after everything, I figured I would make a video. I also wanted to ask you guys if you wanted me to continue to do videos like that where we just kick we just chat. We're not really like talking shit about people and putting negative shit out into the world, but we're just speaking our opinions on the situations which by the way i didn't duh i wanted to say that and i totally forgot i just want to thank you guys for because i was kind of nervous to put it up because i'm like there are so many varying opinions on this situation and at the time before because y'all know i posted that before james posted his video at the time mine was a very fucking unpopular opinion <laughs> it seemed like the entire world at that time was siding with tati and I wasn't necessarily doing that, but you guys were so respectful in the comments, like your, which I should have known because y'all are awesome. My subscribers are fucking just the best. Okay. Uh, which I should have known. Um, but your comments were so well articulated. Even those of you who didn't agree with me, like your comments were so respectfully and constructively uh, stated that I was like, oh my god, I love my people so much. <laughs> like, nobody was like a total dick in the comments. Like, if you didn't agree with me, you weren't like, fuck you, you're not right, and this is why. Like, y'all were just so fucking awesome. Other than the last comment I got, which she told me I was trash because I cussed too much, but <laughs> I'm all right with that girl. Like, it's, I get that all the time, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, I just want to say thank you. So, as I said, I just tried to do a get ready with me, and it was just too fucking long, so I'm just going to lay it out on the line girl just lay it all out i'm gonna do it kind of how i did my last video where i talk about each person individually and then talk about the entire thing as a whole because the, i i feel like this entire situation is just fucking weird <laughs> and i'm like so confused <laughs> like about the whole situation like not confused in a good way not that being confused is ever a good thing but I feel like because the situation was what it was there needed to be some closure and there wasn't just the way everything went down and because there is no closure to this whole situation which I feel like because of the severity of it there needs to be closure and which I will get into here in a minute and I feel like nobody's talking about this uh, which is another reason why I wanted to make this video because I'm like why is no one talking about this this is so weird um, because of the severity of the situation, I feel like there should be closure. And I feel like maybe there's like some legal ramifications going on behind the scenes, which is why there's no closure. So let me get into it before I make this one another hour long video. So first I am going to talk about Tati. Um, I kind of feel the same way that I felt before about her. I know she had made a statement on Twitter saying that even though she wanted to clear things up, um, it was in like everybody's best interest for them to do everything privately and not bring it publicly and that she wasn't going to state publicly anything else about the situation. 
Um, I kind of feel like maybe James Charles either slammed them with a cease and desist or he slammed them with a defamation lawsuit. Moreover, think it's a cease and desist versus like a defamation lawsuit because just because of the statements that they came out with, I feel like he um, slammed them with the cease and desist and said, you know, if anything continues, then I'm gonna have to take legal action and do the defamation lawsuit just because of their statements that came out because it was so odd that like, Jeffrey came out with his video, then Tati came out with her statement, then James came out with a statement, just randomly like thanking Tati and Jeffrey for making their statements. And I feel like on the heels of the video he just made, him being so nonchalant about it, seems like there are some type of legal ramifications going on, like I said. So um, Tati, uh, the discrepancies I have with her are exactly the same as in my first video. I feel like I don't think it was right of her to keep that video up. And I might be wrong about this, but did she not have that video up up until uh, like a couple of days ago? I could be wrong about that because I don't like, you know, like really fucking deeply, deeply follow it or anything. But I feel like she, after the first million subscribers he lost after she knew that the whole world was like pinning against him i think that moment was when the video should have been taken down uh when she made her second video if she was really sorry and really wanted the hate to stop i think she should have taken that video down previous to that from what i've heard and i don't know if it's true or not because like i said i don't like deep dive into the shit but from what i heard she didn't even technically delete that video she unlisted it and if you don't know when you unlist a video on youtube you are still able to watch that video you just have to like click a link or i think there's another way to do it but i'm not really sure and i almost wonder if that video is being left up because of the legal ramifications because it's evidence so i don't know but for them to be like doing all this behind the scenes and to only come out and just be like okay it's done i'm not talking about it anymore seems really weird and especially for her to come out and say there are still things that i want to clear up but I'm not going to, just seems very weird and very calculated. What I also noticed from Tati is that she never came out and said that the things that she said were not true. Because at the end of the day, the accusations that were made against James Charles are huge fucking accusations. Like accusations of him trying to trick straight guys into being gay and of him being a predator. And I know, I don't think that Tati said he was a predator. I think I saw one of your guys' comments that said that she did, but I don't remember hearing her say that he was a predator or whatever. Maybe she did, I don't remember. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys remember if she said that? Cause I don't. But for her to insinuate that he's a sexual predator and then not come back and clarify that after all this has went down and after you come out and make a statement saying, okay, I'm just not gonna talk about it anymore. like. I don't understand that because from her and Jeffrey, neither of them have not only said that the things that they said and accused him of were not true, but now seemingly are okay with him and have been like talking to him behind the scenes because the things that they accused him of is shit that like follows you for the rest of your fucking life. And I just want to put out there that I really do feel like Tati is a very genuine, honest person. I feel like on a higher beauty guru level that she is one of the most honest people and genuine people like at her level um but i feel like i don't think that she went about this right i don't think it was right for her to make that video and i definitely don't think it was right for her to make those accusations publicly without proof of those accusations you know what i mean like without hard evidence of those accusations because again that shit's gonna fucking follow him forever. So as far as James's video goes, cause a lot of you guys wanted to know what I thought after seeing his second video. Um, I really, cause if you watch my last video, it may had seem in my last video that I was like trying to defend him, um, that I was like kind of on James's side or however you wanna put it through the whole situation, but I wasn't. Uh, I just didn't think as a whole, the situation was right. I didn't think it was right 
to accuse somebody of being a sexual predator um, and then not backing it up. You know what I mean? So, and I know she said like all the stuff from, you know, the Gage kid and the Sam kid and whatever else, but she didn't back it up with like hard evidence. However, James's video, I really did not get down with because I felt like the way he went about that video uh, had no redeeming qualities to me. So in his video, he basically like showed all the receipts about like the things that they were accusing him of were taken completely out of context. And he showed text messages and stuff like that from the Sam guy. I thought it was kind of weird that he didn't touch on um, I think he mentioned it, but I don't think he went into detail about him, the relationship between him and that Gage kid. And I'm like curious as to why not, because with Sam, he showed like all these text messages and stuff like that. But I felt like the video was more him validating the shit that Tati and uh, Jeffrey were saying was untrue versus him just taking accountability for his actions. I know there was like some ca accountability thrown in there, but this video was so completely different from the other video that like his first video, his like supposedly apology video, this video was so completely different that I feel like maybe behind the scenes when he was in Australia and the shit it all happened and went down, um, he was like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I fucked up. So he made his like little apology video or whatever. And then maybe when he got back, he lawyered up and now he's got his confidence back. Like he knows he's in the right. He's got a lawyer telling him, yes, you have a defamation lawsuit. Yes, you can do a cease and desist. And so now he's like back to the old James where he's cocky and he's egotistical. Rather than validating the shit that Tati and Jeffrey said was wrong, you should have came on camera and said, look, over the past couple of years, I've changed. I haven't been myself. Hollywood gave me a big head. My ego is inflated. I realize that the shit I'm putting out into the world is not appropriate for my age demographic. I realize the things that I'm doing are not, or like I realize putting my personal life out there is not the best idea. And I know he touched on it a little bit, but I think he focused more on the fact that what they said was wrong. And I think he moreover tried to expose them then like i felt like the video was more james exposing tati and jeffrey than like him actually taking accountability for the person that he has become if that you know what i'm saying does that make sense i didn't think his video justified his actions i didn't think that the way he went about it was right i just thought like dude <laughs> you're really not getting to the point here like the entire point was like you have not been a good person that entire point of your video should not have been they're fucking wrong i've got proof it should have been hey uh it, it was taken completely out of context this is actually what happened but that doesn't matter what matters is I have not been the person I should have been. That, I feel like, is the video he should have made. And I was kind of like, what, dude, really? Like, I still feel like it was wrong of Jeffrey and Tati to do that. But at the end of the day, like, I still kind of feel like James, like, is not taking accountability for his actions. What do you guys say? Do you feel the same way? Like, I was just like, what? <laughs> okay. Like, I had the inclination that they were kind of you know, skewing perception on what was going on. And I had already had that inclination. So for him to validate that was like, okay, I kind of already figured that, but I was just really let down because I thought maybe from this whole thing happening, he will come out a, a little bit more of a humble person. Um, he'll realize the things that he's putting out into the world, but I, I don't, I don't know if I think he does. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As far as Jeffrey's video goes, so first off, he's like, you know, I inserted myself where I shouldn't have. This is what I don't get on board with is all this shit went down. All these accusations were made. Serious fucking accusations. Really like jailable accusations. And he just came on and was like, you know what? I cert I I fucked up, you guys. I inserted myself where I didn't belong. I let some people get into my head and it was wrong of me. Like admitting his wrongs and everybody's like, slow clap for Jeffrey. Yes, 
thank you. You're amazing. But no, he's not. He starts off the video by saying, you know, I put these tweets out. Um, I regret putting these tweets out. I inserted myself, you know, in a situation I shouldn't have. And I started getting back to my old ways. Like, for me, I feel like what old ways, dude? Because it, it seems like every time Jeffree Star gets caught up in some shit, it get, inserts himself in some shit where he doesn't belong and then gets caught up in it, he always ends up going back to, I'm done with the drama. I'm not inserting myself where I don't belong. When that shit went down with Shayla, he was done with the drama. He was a changed person. When that shit happened with Manny, he was done with the drama. He was a changed person. When it happened with Nikki Tutorials, same thing. But if you are a changed person, when it comes to life and trying to live your life positively and taking all those negative things out of your life or redeeming your old ways, part of that redemption is forgiveness and being humble and being apologetic for the things that you've done or the wrongs that you've done. He has never once apologized to Shayla. He's never once apologized to Nikki to Manny, to Laura, to every everything that hit Khloe Kardashian, of all things, like to everything that he inserts himself into, he's never once apologized for the things that he does. And for me, I feel like you aren't changing, dude. Like you keep inserting yourself into drama and yet every time you get fucked over from it, you wanna come back and say, you're done with it, you're not doing it anymore, you're living a better life, you're changed. And then two weeks later, you turn around and do the same thing. So if you're changed, <laughs> why aren't your actions emulating that? You know what I mean? He also said in his video that after Seattle, they weren't comfortable with like some of the things James was doing and like they weren't vibing with him and he, essentially like took that publicly when he should have handled it privately and he says that's okay but is it though because you fucking accuse the guy of being a sexual predator and a fucking pedophile but now it's okay that's what I don't understand so and I don't know if this is true or not but and I haven't watched like uh, everybody's videos on this but I had stumbled across this viewer the viewers voice or some something along the lines of that this video drama channel or whatever um, that this guy made and in one point in his video he had said that apparently and because I don't follow it deeply I don't know um, that apparently uh, Grayson Dolan had messaged Jeffree Star and said that James Charles tried to like molest him in his sleep. So was that true? And if that was true, why are you all of a sudden now okay with that? You know what I mean? The thing that I don't get is that, you know, Tati makes this statement, Jeffree makes his video, and they don't really provide any type of closure to the situation. And if you are accusing somebody of being a fucking sexual predator and a pedophile to a person whose demographic is children, why are you all of a sudden now backing down? Like, that's not okay. And then, because they are backing down, we, as watchers, as consumers of their products, are left just high and dry, not knowing who or what to fucking believe. Jeffrey also says that behind the scenes there were people like in his head and not friends of his but friends of james telling him things so like is that what he's talking about is he talking about the whole grayson thing there and he said um people like swaying his opinion but he shouldn't have let them sway his opinion so are you like in so many words saying that you lied like what <laughs> I don't understand that's the thing that like I don't get so throughout this entire situation you're accusing this guy of being a sexual predator and a pedophile um who's by the way demographic is children I don't nobody has really touched on that I feel like um so you accuse this guy of being a predator and a pedophile with a demographic of like eight to 10 or eight to like 15, 16, whatever his demographic is, um, children. 
in the end, it's children. Because you're not providing closure to the situation, either you lied or you're letting a sexual predator and a pedophile roam the streets and present himself to a demographic of fucking children. That is where I'm like, what is going on? Either you're lying about the situation or you're okay with the situation that's going on. So which one is it? For neither of them to come out and say that they lied about the situation or that they were told false things about the situation, that makes me believe that you're okay, that you still believe what you said was true and that you are backing down because you're okay with a sexual predator and a pedophile presenting himself to children. Like, what the fuck? Like there, I feel like there has to be some closure to this whole situation because in the end, you and I as consumers, as watchers, as people that support them, don't know who or what to believe and it's not fair to like put your time, your money, and your emotion into these people for them to just like brush you off as nothing. Like I watched Peter Mon's video, like his final thoughts or whatever on this whole thing, and he made a good point. And that was by them doing that, that is them saying that they don't care about their supporters. And I feel like he was totally on point with that. What do you guys think? Like, how do you feel about this whole situation and like where it ended up? Because I'm like so fucking confused. Uh, I feel like the reason why they're not talking about it is because there's legal ramifications going on by the, behind the scenes. But if that's the case, then you need to say that. And I feel like because there's legal ramifications going on behind the scenes, they're not doing that. And I, I don't think the way that they went about it was right. Uh, I feel like the way that they, you know, made their final statements or whatever was very calculating and manipulative because at the end of the day, neither of you said all the accusations you made were neither false nor true. So now we're like, what the fuck? And as a mother, thank God I don't have, you know, girls or a child that's like into makeup, like a boy that's into makeup. Because I, as a mother, would hate to think that my little girl or my little boy is watching James Charles because they love him so much. And in the end, the dude was a sexual predator or a pedophile. Like, what the fuck? And at the end of the day, it is the responsibility of the parents to monitor what their kids are watching, but you can't always do that. You know, kids are kids, they're sneaky, whatever, but like, bro, <laughs> is nobody else thinking, is it just me? Is it just me? Please tell me in the comments. Like, I don't understand. I don't really get down with the, the way this whole thing went about. Uh, I'm kind of like over it, but I feel like it's bullshit. I feel like we, as consumers, as followers, as supporters, didn't get any closure on this matter. And to be honest with you, like, I'm just gonna unfollow all of them because at the end of the day, I feel like this whole situation is just fucking weird. It shouldn't have been made public and it's, I don't know. I don't even know how to feel because I'm so fucking confused about the fact that they offered absolutely no closure to the situation. So, and I'm going to say too, because look, if y'all follow me, y'all know I ain't that fucking serious. <laughs> like at the end of the day, I don't take life too seriously. I don't take anything too seriously, obviously, when it comes to like supporting brands, uh, supporting YouTubers or watching YouTubers or whatever. Um, I normally don't let the actions of those brands, those YouTubers, whoever affect me. Um, but from this point on, I can honestly say I won't be buying Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I won't be buying Halo, Halo Beauty and I won't be supporting them. So, and I never do that. So it must be pretty hard for me to do that. So anyways, those are my thoughts. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Let's have a, a, a little, a little diddle. Let's have a kinky in the comments like we did on the last video. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, and also let me know if you want me to continue to do like get ready with me, like little kiki chats and stuff like that. And that's it. I think that's, that's all I wanted to say. I don't want to drag this video out like the last one. Let me know your thoughts and let's talk in the comments about it, okay?
Okay, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Like it if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Because I fuck up a good dislike. And that's it. That's all I got to say, girl. So, uh, thanks for watching. And I'm going to go. I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace.